This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in uh, Germany. Uh, not too important, well, actually, same important, but behind me here I have Iways U5. And this is going to be a quick review of the U5. It belongs to one of my followers. <laughs> so, and we will do a, a little review, interior review, and then some driving impressions. So, um, let's start with the exterior. You know, once, I, once you guys see this, or if you just see this for blink of an eye, you will think, oh, it's like Neo ES8. Yes, it has, it has similar shape as the Neo, the, the kind of that front and the back. But of course, it has a different logo here. Uh, what, does it have a front, by the way? Yeah. Oh, it has. Okay, can you open it? Yeah, let's check it out. So normally I would use a tripod and I would uh, spend more time, but since since the owner is here, then we can just check it out. It's not big, but it's enough for the cable. Oh, ah, well, they at least they bothered to make a tiny frunk. Yeah. You can have uh, stuff there. Okay, and then, uh, well, you can just keep it open. Oh, actually, just close it. How do you close it, by the way? Oh, just just, well, it's, not, uh, it's not fragile aluminium like Tesla. Yeah, but I'm used to <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, let's check out the trunk then. So it, it has motorized lift gate. Okay, it says, Iways. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Iways, Iways. Uh, and the button is here. It's a U5. And it's quite spacious. So you can even fit a, a bag of storm bag <laughs> in there. And then uh, if you open here, you see there is space for some stuff. And then you can actually open even more. And you see, oops, uh, you see even more space there. So this is one of the deepest trunks I've seen in a while. Wow. Um, so that's a good one. I don't. I guess I'll not bother with. Oh, you have, oh wow! You have so much space there. Uh, also, some space in the side there. That's a 12 volt outlet. Yeah. And uh, like I mentioned, we have motorized lift gate. The button is here. A little bit awkward button. Actually, uh, I just noticed it's the same button used to open and close it. Normally, you will have a different button you use to close it than open it. <laughs> But okay, let me check the the standard stuff. Oh, it's quite spacious. And you know, you know the funny thing is, this car in Germany, uh, after incentives, it cost only how much? Like thirty-one thousand. Thirty-one thousand euros for this family car. Well, it has sixty-three kilowatt hour. Right? Yeah, around sixty-three kilowatt hour, but. Look at this, and this is even the more premium trim, right? So let me try now. Um, we sit inside, do the regular stuff. Um, okay, oh, okay, this is always the problem because you have limited headroom space here. So you basically have about two, three fingers of headroom here. The middle one is actually better since you are kind of in the, yeah, you see here. Okay, so headroom is decent. Let's uh, let's check out the materials. Oh, look at this! Plenty of space here under, just like in the Model Y. Hey, it kind of reminds me of Model. You see, everything has been raised. Um, do we have any USB here? No, no USB. There's some pocket there, some pocket here. It's actually, the air vents there. It's a ah, air. this one is air vent. This one. This one. Ah, oh, this one is air vent. Okay, okay. What? Well, it's like a button. What? Huh? Just turn it on and off. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. Well, I'm looking for USB. Okay, there's no USB here, but at least flat four. And uh, let me check here. Door closing sound. Uh, just single plane pane glass. Don't, not, no double uh, pane glass. Fairly nice materials for this price. Think about this. This price. How much is an ID4 over here? I think it's like ten thousand more at least. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. And also we have panorama glass that can be open fully. We have adjustable uh, headrest here. All of them. And also, uh, I'm uh, just going to do this uh, in one shot. Okay. We have cup holder here. Armrest. Uh, no ski opening, but yeah, there's some dents here from uh, child seat, you see. But okay, don't mind that. Oh, what? Huh? What? 
What? Huh? Is it supposed to be like this? <laughs> or, huh? Are you supposed to be able to open this? Um, I think it's to uh, move it even further and then you have really lots of uh, trunk space. Ah, okay. Well, okay, well, there, there's just a lot of space yeah, here. Yeah, and the seat is not even uh, completely forward. It's, it's in my driving position. I'm one meter eighty, so this uh, plenty of space. I have to check the front seat now. Okay, let's let's check the front. So you see, uh, whoa, okay, okay. So I guess, uh, oh, electric adjustable seats. Yeah. Uh, I have to check now. If I'm sitting here, and I would usually, oh, look at this. I typically have to. Uh, adjust it for myself roughly here roughly and just just gonna check if I would sit behind myself we have holy macaroni this is a lot of space leg room is massive headroom somewhat limited but okay I have to check something else um, let me see if you well, how is the, the door closing sound here Listen to that. And also, also from outside, it sounds like you're closing a door in Mercedes. You, you're not thinking that, hey, this is a Chinese car. Those, those are the little things that matter. So we have perforated seat. Are they ventilated? No. Okay, but just perforated seat, leather seat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What well, is this seat memory here? I don't know. I think it's a it's a, lomb, a lombard uh, um, support for your back. Okay, but there's not no memory for the seat. No, there's memory. No okay. Memory. All right. Let me check here. Um, steering wheel can be adjusted up and down, in and out. That's great. And at least for now, we see percentage state of charge. And well, this one is a bit uh, optimistic. 330 kilometers. You can expect around 200, 250 kilometers of more realistic uh, range. And then. Let me see, I, have to, I think you have to close the door or how to activate the other screens. Uh, no key, yeah, no key found. Press the brake. So if you enter the car and press the brake, you will see that it's, it starts the car. And there is, uh, yeah, oh great, there is no start button. Just like an EV should be designed like. And you see, this is pretty cool. So the instrument cluster has three screens <laughs> oops so we have some consumption numbers here here we have the speedo with all the stuff here you can even switch it as different uh, settings you can oh. use and everything how you like it ah, cool yeah so you have some stuff here we have some it feels uh, it feels okay pressing it Yeah, I'm also I'm just randomly pressing buttons now, <laughs> but um, it has a good feedback on stuff when you press them. So at least they are physical buttons, uh, unlike uh, some cars they use uh, haptic feedback. Uh, not a fan of it. But one thing is missing: it there is no navigation. So we just have to use uh, uh, CarPlay, CarPlay or Android Auto. Yeah. So that's what is connected right now. Uh, if you go here, you can also go to vehicle control. And uh, you see here, for example, you can open, you can open the sunroof. So very intuitive. Okay, let's close it. And also, if you switch now, if we go to console here, you can then also use these buttons to. I don't know if it matters to open the window. <laughs> so at least it's there. Uh, doors and windows yeah so we have some settings here I'm not gonna go dig too much deep into it but at least this is the infotainment and uh, ooh, oh you have H back so uh, all the climate control stuff is here in a separate uh, panel here yeah. just see what is behind there okay you yeah, they kind of utilize the yeah, yeah. oh you can oh. Open it. You can uh, uh, oh you can oh. Yeah, you 12 volt and this is the carplay dongle and... let me see okay 12 volt there uh, uh, one USB. USB. Yeah. Is that only one USB A there? Uh, I think maybe there's another one here, here somewhere, but I'm not sure. I think there was something. Yeah, huh. for now I think it's already there. Yeah. Okay, cup holder there. This is the gear selector. And uh, I have to show you, there is actually a space under here for cargo. You see there? 
and it has a net on each side so things won't slide but it's kind of hard to reach it even i have to exit the car just to show you but at least it's there now let's do the other standard stuff which is to well, let, me, let me check this one i always check this one sunwiser oh holy <laughs> uh, there yeah it uh, just pivots but it doesn't uh, extend but let's check headroom Whoa, well actually you see i would usually be sitting here okay uh you have almost a fist of headroom because normally you don't sit like this because then you will have plenty of headroom so even in the front headroom is somewhat limited what do you think no it's okay it's in a it, it's not a real problem unless you're like a two meter 20 guy i mean then you could get a problem but for most people i think it's it's uh, it's sufficient okay yeah it's, it's sufficient it's not that great but it's okay hmm but okay so that was a quick uh, just a quick review but actually you see this very high i put it on a very high position you can oh. actually lower it and then you can maybe try again let me try yeah yeah maybe i should have oh, yeah. oh i see okay you can lower it something like this maybe and then it would be yeah then then you have more yeah, yeah. then you have about a fist yeah i actually prefer a slightly lower mm -hmm. seating height like this hmm. but okay so this was just a quick review and now i will do a, a driving test so now this is the first time i tried to drive it i have never driven it before but it should be intuitive press the brake yeah we are in drive so let's see now we are in the normal mode Okay, the, you heard that sound, that was the... Oh, how do I change um, recuperation? Um, that's deep in the settings, I wouldn't do it while driving. Okay, so it's now it's set to be coasting, but that's fine. And we yeah. can just drive it like this. And it has, a, uh, it has an artificial uh, engine noise. I can hear it, this is typical uh, Chinese cars. <laughs> so let's see, I think I will go up here first, because this, this street here seems to be less... Uh, busy oh maybe i should do the quiet ride first well we have to do the quiet quiet <clears throat> section short but um, I have to say that um, the throttle response even in normal mode has been tuned to be uh, uh, quite fast because I don't have to I don't have to throttle that much to to actually get some uh, decent speed and also if we change mode to sport mode it would be even quicker and it, it changes everything so but let's um, wait here for a bit and i can try to change mode there's a mode button um, oh where is the mode button oh, it's here on the steering wheel right okay uh, i think yeah i put it on eco mode that's why it suddenly felt sluggish and now it's in sport mode okay we are in sport mode <clears throat> still yeah, it doesn't change the, the the region settings but let's uh, try now Oh, it almost spins the wheel. Is it front wheel drive? Yes. Oh, oh wow, okay. So lots of power. Uh, let me switch back to uh, normal mode. Hmm. There are some bumps here. And this car just floats over the bumps. Wait, what is the speed limit here, by the way? I can't see. I think it's not sure. I think 70. Oh, okay. That's why the, the car behind is kind of like uh, close. Okay. Uh, let me just adjust this one up a bit. So let's see, I want to get in on the autobahn. Um, do I go straight here? Yeah, straight here and then there is the, the ramp to the highway. Okay, let me see. Good. Oh, that's the gas station. Alright, so we go straight here and then to the right. Eh? Or uh, Cross this uh, crossing. And okay. Ah, and there. Yeah, and there you can either go to north or south, whatever you prefer. <laughs> it's it's um 
it's so quick that he wants to yeah, yeah he wants to almost spin the wheels okay i'm a little bit i'm a bad driver right now sorry guys and also to that mercedes but he let me in that's great thank you sean um but uh it feels quick let me see now uh there is some uh, what's the time now it's uh, it's uh 7 30 in the evening so um not too much traffic but still kind of busy Trying to get an impression of uh, what it feels like on the highway also. So we, this is good, we include some highway driving. Let me see, there's some trucks. Just want to get away from the trucks. We test the steering. Um, well, it, uh, it has a fairly sharp steering also. Uh, let me see, how do I center this? Maybe I shouldn't be uh, fiddling around with uh, too much. There, 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 this one. So I just follow this uh, road, right? Yeah, just okay. Right okay. Yeah, then we go north and then, yeah, then we turn around. So, but okay. Um, I get the impression, of course, it's not as quiet as an Audi, but uh, on the other hand, I think I need to go a little bit faster. Okay, there's some wind noise, uh, but not that bothers me that much. But think about this: for this, for this kind of money, <laughs> in in Deutschland, you can spec this for around 30k euros. Huh? You get this? Uh, the steering wheel. I feel like it, it, it feels a bit hard. I prefer having it softer. Should we turn around here or? Um, go through there. Okay, go through there. Okay, I uh, should use this lane. But I feel like, okay, uh, my personal taste is that I prefer the steering wheel to be softer. It feels a bit hard, that's the thing, but um, you, might not, uh, might, you might like it like this. But other than that, the seats um, feel great. But again, uh, they don't have that much side support as you might want in a more sporty car. But uh, on the other hand, it's, uh, this is uh, more like an SUV, it's a family car. So I guess you don't care too much about <laughs> massive side support. But it has okay, it's not that flat seats. Uh, let me try to, let me see, can this one be, no, okay. Oh, can it be adjusted? Okay. The, the armrest here feels a bit low. I would prefer to have the armrest a bit higher. Maybe just me, but... Let's see. Okay, let's uh, drive a little bit more. Okay, can we uh, turn around here? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's uh, turn around here. But it, it's... I feel like it's comfortable. It just floats over the bumps. <laughs> right, recently, I'm, well, I've been driving a Model Y. So let me see. Oh, this one is always tricky. We have to go straight, right? And then... Um, yeah, go, go straight. And then right. And then right, and then you can cross the highway. Okay, this is like a four-leaf clover uh, uh, layout. So. But... Um, hmm... Yeah, this is this is comfy. I can feel it now. Um, it's nice and comfy, but again, it doesn't roll that much in the corners, like most EVs are. Oh, okay, maybe um, I just have to get used to that. It doesn't have that instant uh, response like uh, like a Tesla, for example. So you just have to. My brain just needs to be programmed so that. Uh, I need to give a little bit more uh, throttle when I want to go. But just go around uh, curves, around uh, bends, just to get the feel. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the thing. It, it just feels comfy. 
and I'm just a little bit surprised why this car is not more popular for this price this battery this kind of space you get oh that's that's sound I mean, let's put the car in sport mode eh, to uh, try to uh, pro provoke that sound again there is um, the motor I guess the motor is in the front and then you hammer it you hear that nice winding of the motor let's uh, get behind this one I know the motorcycle just came around <laughs> but uh, let me see it's it's not too loud <laughs> actually uh, yeah now we're doing about 100 kilometers per hour you will mostly hear that motor sound between uh, 20 and uh, 60 kilometers per hour and then it kind of just disappears Okay, well, I haven't explored all of this. Uh, I think, th do you have any um, uh, lane assist system yes, here? Yes. Okay. Um, it's on the wheel on the left side. Of the oh, okay. Okay, I found it. I drive. <laughs> it's called I drive. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Uh, set I drive active. Oh, okay, okay. The I drive is active with. There, there, there. Uh, ACC ready. Well, hmm. Wait, is the. Is the auto stay also working? Yeah. Should be. If it's, uh, if it's blue, then it's uh, auto steer, and if it's green, it's only um, automatic distance control. Okay, hang okay, on. Again, it's there, it's blue yeah, now. now it's, yeah. Okay, let me see. So now it would just steer by itself. Hmm. Well, it just happened to be straight, but uh, it's. Well, I'm, I'm a bad. Uh, shit, I, I should move uh, lane. Uh, let's get over to the rightmost lane. Sorry, I'm just too focused on the car's uh, thing, but at least we are. Okay, so there is now, now I'm just going to test this. I drive in a slight right curve. So hopefully it will just follow the curve. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, get a feel of how it does it. Oh, that's... Um, it slows down slightly. And okay, it wants me to put the hand. Yeah, I purposely let the hand... Oh, it actually slows down almost too much for my taste because I set it to 100 kilometers per hour it's down to 90 kilometers per hour now. it's driving almost like a grandma but at least it's driving centered uh, I've seen some systems they tend to uh, jiggle a bit on the steering wheel this okay now it speeds up okay yeah but uh, at least it's it's doing a, a, a good job staying in the lane okay let me see if I cancel it then I'm on the manual again now we are in the under restricted zone and uh, I'm just V-maxing now. We are doing 160 kilometers per hour. This is quiet. Okay, I mean, it's, it's not e-tron quiet, but even when doing 150 kilometers per hour, I hear some wind noise, but it's not that bad. Hmm. This is good shit. This is, just, just think about this. Think about the price you pay for this. <laughs> and I think this is highly acceptable. Uh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is, this is good. And we also have, um, uh, I'm trying to be a good German here, but uh, we are using sport mode now. And uh, the car feels quick. Let me try to regen a little bit. So I'll purposely just uh, break here before, behind the, the, the truck. I mean, not the, uh, the van. Just want to get a feel of the of the autobahn uh, so now we are at uh, i'm not sure if you guys can see this speedometer uh, you might not be able to so we're doing 100 kilometers per hour roughly 95 97 so i'll wait for the stuff to pass and then we try to just floor it see what happens this is um okay it's not tesla quick <laughs> the only also has a tesla model uh, was it model 3 right Model 3, but still, uh, it's, uh, it's probably quicker than many fossil cars. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this is good stuff. <laughs> Again, if you keep remi reminding that, that the price is so low, then uh, it's, um, it's good. Yeah, like, why don't we sell more of these? We need them in Norway. 
okay we don't need them in order 450 kilometers per hour but this is the they should sell more of this i'm i'm actually quite impressed of uh, how well uh, many uh, chinese cars uh, drive oh look at that sunset Oof, nice huh so well that's pretty cool so at least just gave you guys uh, a quick impression of this car how it uh, feels like how it drives so um i think that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> as always thank you for watching and talk to you later and thank you so much for uh, letting me test the car Ha, ha, ha.